Hey, hey, you all. So it's Lisa Spangler here, and I wanted to share a super quick video to show you how I've been coloring these flowers. So you're going to need a watercolor set. I'm using this set from Alti New, and it's not available yet, but I found that this technique works with most watercolor sets. And you're going to take some plain water and then mist the stamp set really well. Get all the colors like nice and juicy and wet so that they're kind of glistening just like this. Hope you can see that there. And then the whole key to this technique is to set your paints aside and wait for 10 minutes. I know it's really hard to wait. So while I'm waiting, I'm going to share the stamp sets that I'm going to be using. So this is the Stunning Cosmo set. And you want to look for outline stamps like this uh, flower from the Happy Bloom set. So I'm just going to be using the outline stamps. I'm not going to use any solid stamps. And now 10 minutes has gone by and we're back. As you can see, the water has kind of sunk down into the paint pans and it's really nice and thick and juicy. I'll show you that here in a minute. So this is my swatch card that I made for all the colors in the set. And I think I'm going to start out with this purple color. So I'm just taking a damp paintbrush and I'm just kind of mixing it around just on top of there. And look at how thick and creamy the paint becomes after it's been sitting for 10 minutes. So I'll zoom in on this more so that you can see. But look at that, you can kind of test it on your palette there if you want. I'm going to be working on the Misty tool. This is a tool that lets you re-stamp your image and you just put the stamp where you want it to go on your paper and then you close the lid and the stamp sticks to the lid. And I put some white cardstock underneath this just so you'll be able to see it on the camera. And then we're going to take some of that really nice thick paint and just apply it to the stamp. And I started out using this really pretty purple and then I'm going to grab some of this dark midnight blue color and I'm going to use it on the center and then kind of dab it here and there on the petals. And then I'm going to go ahead and stamp the image by closing the lid like so and you just give it a good press. And then lifting the lid, you can see I missed a little spot, but no worries. You just go ahead and apply more paint to that part of the petal and then re-stamp in exactly the same spot. And that's the beauty of the Misty tool. Now for the really fun part of the technique, I wet my paintbrush with clean water and then I dab some of it off and then I'm going to pull some of the color onto the petal. So once again, I have a wet brush and then I dabbed it off on this towel and then pulling some of the color from the petals. And I found you get the best results and the coolest look if you leave some white space here and there. Like don't color in the whole petal. It looks more artistic with extra white space too. So that's looking pretty good. Maybe just add a little bit of water there so that the colors blend a little more. And there you have it. I'll hold this up so that you can see it better. Look at how pretty that is. So now I'll set this aside to dry and then I'll go ahead and die cut it out. And then here's that finished card with all of the flowers and the leaves on there. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you give this technique a try.